What is it about training that people love to hate? Well, firstly, let's consider that there is very little learning without emotional impact or repetition. Both of these are likely to raise the eyebrows of a hardened, cynical worker who doesn't need training. Now, some training is so bad and boring that the trainer and the people who sell it should be shot at dawn. Unfortunately, execution is not an option these days. For the most part, training is adequate for the task at hand, and the problem is not with the trainer or the organisation. It's actually dealing with people's past experience of training and their fear of being embarrassed and humiliated once again. As a leader of a team, your job is to be clear and strong in the face of hardened, cynical workers' attempts to undermine your efforts to train them for a better future. Most of the resistance to training is a very cleverly disguised challenge to your leadership. Now, a challenge to your leadership can take many forms and here are a few refusing to attend training I won't work with Bob because not contributing to group discussions avoidance and the silent treatment you don't pay me to think turning up to work late and not attending meetings on time they're all challenges to your leadership people with a high self-esteem will rarely see training as a threat and they embrace wholeheartedly the challenge of learning new skills here is the paradox of dealing with resistance to leadership training. Lessons in leadership build self-esteem because it gives people a way in which to express themselves. When people learn the skills of speaking assertively and how to hold others accountable, they experience the enormous personal benefits of becoming a better leader in all parts of their life. Be bold and courageous and stand strong in the face of the noisy and resistant team members who will fight to the death for their status quo. There is no growth, prosperity or happiness in letting your people win in a challenge